Extra, extra. Read all about it. Taurus, this is all about you. Uh, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The oracle card is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So you can apply these energies to wherever Taurus influences your life, including a partner. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be in your chart. Um, but these are the general themes that Tauruses are dealing with energetically this week. Uh, no dates on the video, but there is a new video uploaded for Taurus and all the other zodiac signs every single week. I do weekly week ahead predictions and energies so if you want them fresh off the press Taurus please click that link below subscribe to the channel you'll help the channel grow and you um, can also get uh, ring that bell so you can get the uploads as soon as I upload them as like I said uh, fresh readings yeah extra extra baby so um, we start here with the energy reading through Oracle cards but then there's always an extended reading that link is down below it broadens, expands, and gets into specifics, the little gritty details, uh, because it's a full tarot spread. And then it, there's also an extended romance reading as well. That's all part of the extended reading. All right, Taurus, let's get into your energies for today. Let's see. Uh, Taurus energy, Taurus energy, Taurus energy. Ooh, babies. Ooh, babies. Ooh, babies. Who's coming out for you guys? Taurus, 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 Taurus. You're making the best of a bad situation. That's what you're doing. And I know you're like, um, that's not astrology. That's basically what we're all doing. No, you're making the best out of the bad situation. You know that that shit is going down. Bottom line, right? Be here now. This is your crowning energy. Taurus, you know that it's going down, right? The nitty gritty is all about what's going on. It's, it's, it's happening right here, right now. You're trying to be in the present moment. That's how you're calming yourself down. Because the truth is you do like to be in control of the circumstance, of the situation. You do like to be able to plan out. But, uh, you know, a few months in advance, maybe even a few years in advance. But ultimately, can you? No. So it's like... Am I going to lose my shit? Am I going to let go crazy? Am I going to let this situation or circumstance go crazy? No. I'm going to channel my Libra in energy. My sister in Venus, right? This is very Libra energy. Beauty, abundance, gorgeousness, happiness. What is in front of you? Like seeing like the little, little hummingbirds are this small. Sometimes they're so tiny, you can even mistake them for bugs. So this is an energy of like, is it a bug? Let's see it closely. Let's look closely at the circumstance that I have in front of me. And ooh, because you decided to do that, now you can extrapolate a lot of beautiful things, beautiful details. Beautiful things that you hadn't seen before. So it was being forced into the circumstance where you literally have to put your very insightful mind to the task of looking deeper. Instead of looking farther and planning out ahead, you're using that same energy to look deeper and seeing the beauty that's right in front of you right now. Because it's what you got. Right? And you're not gonna, you're not gonna let this energy go. It's like, it's an, in, there's an intention behind here. There's an intention to say, I'm not gonna let the circumstance that I'm living in right now, I'm not gonna let it shut me down. I'm not gonna let it drive me crazy. You are deciding to focus on the beauty that is in front of you and see it for what it is, for what it's worth, and picking up on details that you may have missed and glossed over. Instead, you're finding a beauty and abundance where you never thought it was. So there is a little bit, bit of the ability to be distracted here and put your mind onto something that is hopeful and is positive. Okay, that's looking good right now. That's looking good. Uh, watch and wait. Very patient energy. This is also father energy. Deciding to be with your family, take care of your family, watch over your family, nurture your family. Apply all those things that you love about taking care of your family, about taking abundant, you know, providing abundance for your family. Applying that into nurturing your family and actually being the one that literally carries them. Taking care of and being patient. And and like this is like this is Piscean energy. So it's about um, just 
like sort of wrapping them, wrapping them up in almost letting yourself get lost in a dream world right now, letting the fantasy and letting the beauty and letting this microscopic world of the who's, you know, who are in here, who, you know, that just because it's small, does that mean that they don't exist? No, it's like you're, it's almost like you're rediscovering the beauty of your family. If that, I think that would make sense to you. Uh, learn from the past. Have you made stuff before? You know, have you overlooked the beauty in these circumstances before? Have you lost your damn mind before? And this is why you're realizing and recognizing that that's not how you can behave this time around. This is your energy. This is a sense of having a very strong mind, but it's also, once again, Elephants are very devoted to their family. They're very devoted to, I don't know, a herd. The, I think it's a herd that they, that they are, that they are belonging. They share parenting responsibilities. They protect each other. They mourn each other when they're past. There is a strong sense of connection to the family unit here. And it's almost like, I got to say this, and I'm not trying to be accusing you, but you didn't get that in the past. There was a circumstance in the past where you didn't realize or didn't recognize or didn't care about the things that you had in front of you when you had them, and it, it messed up. So you learned, and you learned a lesson that you will never, ever, 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 ever forget, and that is I'm not going to take advantage of the situation any, anymore. I'm going to honor and protect and nurture if I have to. Like, like this is about calming myself down and being patient. And once again, seeing the strength in the small stuff. I want to know a little bit more about this situation from the past that helped teach you this. Bring your ideas to life. You're inspired by the circumstance that you're in right now. A lot of new ideas coming out of your head. The energy of four plus uh, two plus four, which is six love. So this is love inspired, inspired to do right or better for people who maybe are smaller than you. You know, Horton here, who do you remember? This is like Horton here, who it's like, I'm here, I'm here. It's like, he's the only one that could hear him. It's almost like you have some insight into what the small people are saying, what people who don't have a voice are saying. And now it's giving you ideas. It's, 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 it's making, it's inspiring you to sort of light the candle or light the flame, Taurus. You're being inspired by those small voices inside of you. This is liberation, Aquarius energy. Three, three plus three also adds up to six. Um, um, almost feeling liberated in situations that may, maybe other people would feel burdened by. You're feeling a sense of freedom, maybe because it's finally freedom from see this is this is what this is your central energy and this is the thing this is the profound message here you're going to realize really quickly that what you were spending a lot of time on was actually not making you as happy as you thought it was you're going to find a kind of joy in your circumstance your situation right now that you haven't experienced ever and would never have experienced had it not been for the current search situation right example Taurus, um, you're stuck at home with your family. You're a big old business person, all successful, all drive, all going, looking good, looking slick, looking nice, having the nice suits and shit, you know, like the, all the nice clothes and all the Gucci and stuff, all that stuff, right? And you're, you're doing it. You're, you're, you didn't realize how restrictive it was. You didn't realize how it was taking you away from and distracting you from this joy that you were missing. And I feel like at one point you missed this in your past life too. I did. I think you made this mistake before and things fell apart and you were supposed to learn your lesson and maybe you didn't, but now you're, you're basically, sorry about that, readjusting. You're seeing the blessings that are happening right in front of you. And there's a freedom, a sense of freedom that might intimidate you a little bit because you're like, I don't know if I'm going to want to go back. I don't want to live without the Gucci though, but I don't know if I'm going to want to go back to where I was because where I was was not this level of happiness that I haven't felt this level of happiness in a long time more six energy this is the energy of once again love magic works through you cancerian energy very parenting something about parenting or to do with family 
okay? Prioritizing your family and figuring out how to make the best of a rotten situation, transcend your circumstance or situation, and also help to heal and help other people transcend, to inspire and to care for, the drive to care for and take care of. If you haven't discovered it yet, I think you're gonna be discovering it soon. You had this energy too in another reading, of sort of taking the lead to help people in need um clear out the clutter taking the, and something is coming to a finish something is coming to an end um really skimming off the fat and letting go of those things that were just weighing you down um um shoot even if it was your treadmill <laughs> maybe you're, maybe cookies is exactly what you don't need you know but that's the energy of um letting go of all those notions in your head that that you know you were holding on to that that you didn't need to hold that that were just weighing you down maturing maturing realizing that i'm petting my I'm petting my dog because she's like trying to get my attention um kind of realizing what you can let go of what's what's expendable in your life i think there was a sense of you know holding on to certain things and not thinking that they were expendable but realizing no, I could lose this shit and be happy. I like I'm I'm actually good without this shit. So I mean it it is it's like it's 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 a it's a sort of a personal wisdom, an emotional wisdom that is exciting you. Um because it's almost like a happy accident that you even arrived here. Slow and steady wins the race. This is more Cancerian energy and six plus two adds up to eight. So this is destiny. This has been a long time coming, a destiny that has been in the works. It's like a slow moving destiny. It's like that slow build. Maybe you didn't even realize it was happening. Maybe you didn't even see it on the horizon. But at the same time, you were always participating in what was going to get you here. So this is about going with the flow and just following your instincts and following, even when instincts don't make any sense, there's just this drive inside of you, this connection to spirit that says, no, 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 you, you just have to put your toe in this stream and let the stream carry you away. This is where the stream was leading you. It's, it's, it's honestly the build up of this circumstance that's been happening or going on. It's about to, it's about to come to fruition. It's about to become really realized and recognized and relevant for you. This has been a slow and steady build for quite some time. This is about finding who you are. I mean, like loving yourself and discover, like, like discovering what you're, what you're meant for. Um, this and that are true. Playful, being playful, being happy, loving the simplicity of the moment. This is a grounding energy, right? So this is a sense of seeing things from both sides, being maybe that bridge or that go-between that helps people to heal and release and feel better and finding such a strong sense of self in being able to do that, that you're just so joyous and abundantly happy um, in a way that you could not have predicted like I said, this is a reaction to a circumstance or a situation that you would not have allowed to happen if you had any choice. You didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice. You're now stuck in this circumstance. But simultaneously, it's become like, honestly, better than anything that you could have dreamed up or imagined. I feel a lot of gratitude and happiness like, oh my God, Jesus, you just saved me. That kind of energy. That kind of energy. I've just been saved. I would never have arrived here on my own. But you know what? You know what? Let me say this to you, Taurus. You arrived here because you trusted in the flow. So it was partially your choice. No, it wasn't your choice to go there. You would never have ended up there. You would never have thought there was something that was important to you. But because you trusted the flow and it's led you there, you now know it's exactly where you need to be. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hold on. Trying to get two more cards for the grounding energy. Trust, what I keep saying, this whole freaking reading, Taurus. Trust in divine detours. It's the energy of seven. This is you making a decision to allow spirit to guide you on your path. So you are active. It's active energy. This is Sagittarius energy. You're active in the energy, but you're active in letting, it's like, it's like your activity was, here, Jesus, you take the wheel. Like, you drive. Spirit, you drive. And oh no, you gotta you gotta take a right right there. I know it. I just feel it. 
I just know we got to, I don't know why it doesn't even look like a road, but we got to go. And you do. It's like trusting in divine detours. And now you're happy. You're happy because of it. You're happy because of where you ended up. This is the card that wants to come out. I'm not even going to question it. You're teaching me a lesson as, as I read. I'm not even going to question it. I'm not even going to question it. Try, oh, the energy of six plus five, which is awakening, awakening and jumping, diving deep into the great mystery is like literally finding the place where you can just dive in and feel complete. You're not afraid. You're not afraid to take the deep plunge. You're not afraid. You know why? Because you were bought here through faith. And now you're just going to take a leap of faith. It's just a continuation of what you've already dedicated yourself to. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to flip this camera around so we can review the cards. You know, Taurus, I've got to say, this is a beautiful reading. The cards came out in order. They came out very, it's almost like, it's almost like everything that you are has become almost like esoteric and it's guiding your life even if you're, 3D life isn't experiencing it right now because there is there was just such structure. Everything was happening one at a time. The cards were coming out smoothly, but not too fast. It's like this beautiful energy of the world has become the place that you wanted it to become because you made the decision to become what the world needed you to be. You answered the call and now the call has responded. This is a sense of being exactly where you are and diving in deep into a circumstance, into a situation. Maybe you're a house father, right? Now you're staying home with the kids. You would have ne never, never wanted to do that before. Never wanted to be the primary caretaker. But you know what? There is such abundance and happiness and new opportunity and possibility. Your, your ass is, is creating kids books now. Your ass is online creating tutorials. You never thought you had this in you. It's not like you stopped being you because you, you're being put into an unexpected situation, it's you adjusting, allowing the flow to dictate where your focus is. And your focus is now on what's at hand. What, what do you need to do in the situation? And it's just this beautiful, like, wave of productivity that's happening because you're not pushing. You're responding to the circumstance in front of you. Now, That's weird. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the extended. Sorry, I just looked at the I just looked at the clock and something was weird. It's almost like everything started over. So I'm gonna head over to the extended. Why? Because I want to know what's happening. Like, where is this flow heading? Let's continue on the story. Let's continue the journey. Trust in me, and we'll do your romantic cards as well, Taurus. The link is below. I'll see you in the extended.